Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to discuss with you about eigenvalues and eigenvector of order 2 matrix. So, I will prefer to make it as shortcut technique as possible. So, let's start with one of the example. Here I have taken A matrix where the first row is 5, 4 and the second row is 1, 2. Now, we before I talk about what are the steps, let's see that what is the main target of this topic to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors we have to uh, solve this system of equation so the system of equation is we have a a matrix and we have a minus we have a lambda we have a i here and this is one of the matrix and then there is a x equals to zero now in this case this is given to us this matrix i i know identity matrix this is also we can write down what are the unknown entry here we don't know what is this lambda which is the first target to find out we call them eigenvalues and the second entry is this vector unknown vector and that is called the eigenvector so there are two stages in a stage number one we will find out lambda in a stage number two we will find out the vector so we have you see there are four things visible two are given and two are not given so let us start with it uh, so we want to find out the characteristic equation if I plug in all the entry over here so what kind of format you will get here a matrix is um, 5 1 4 2 minus lambda times we are uh, putting here identity whatever is the order of the matrix same form is there so we will get one new matrix and here we have an unknown vector I'll call it the component as X and Y and since it is a matrix format so in a matrix this side the null matrix is 0 so this is also given we means we can we we know what how to write a null matrix so let's start with the first step to find a characteristic equation so how to write a characteristic equation characteristic equation is you you see this part only this part we pick and we find the determinant of it so what is the first step step number two is oh sorry step number one is find a characteristic equation so a minus lambda i is a matrix we are going to find a debt of it and put it equals to zero so if you see it means we are having when you solve this portion you will get a 5 minus lambda here it is 4 here it is 1 here it is 2 minus lambda because lambda is only multiplied in the diagonal part of the identity so only diagonal will change uh, it's it's I want to make it is a determinant so we are going to solve the determinant here the debt equals to 0 so either you can uh, open this determinant and find a quadratic expression of lambda or I would share with you the shortcut formula. What is the shortcut formula here? Shortcut formula for finding that if you don't want to open and to solve, you can directly plug in the entry, you will get the characteristic equation. There is a lambda square minus, there is a minus sign and here you have some term which is a sum of the diagonal elements or you can say trace that is a lambda coefficient and the third entry is a determinant so first term lambda square is positive then minus times sum of the diagonal is lambda coefficient plus times determinant so if you see the question if I see directly what is diagonal sum 4 plus uh, 5 plus 2 is 7 so here I will get a 7 and when I see what is the determinant of this matrix 5 2s are 10 10 minus 4 is 6 so I got determinant value comes out to be here debt it's a debt value so determinant comes out to be and trace uh, if if you say what is trace trace is equals to 7 so we got the answer here lambda square minus of the formula trace 7 lambda and determinant comes out to be 6 now we got the direct expression next step even if 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 you do not have to solve like then then what will be the scenario you have to open the determinant like this 
this into this minus 4 simplify and then get the answer but here I have uh, directly written the equation and uh, next step is solve this characteristic equation so we are we are going to solve this lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 6 equals to 0 so what are the two numbers whose sum is um, 7 and product is 6 so I'll get lambda minus so 6 and lambda minus 1 is satisfying so I get the lambda value is 1 and 6 so the eigenvalues uh, I mean first stage is done first stage is to find out the eigenvalues so I got the eigenvalue so then next step is to find the eigenvector so it is a stage step 3 or you would say or a stage 2 so for eigenvector now see let me tell you about the, the whole format because we are again having this original expression system of equation now what happened here a is given i is you know and lambda is with you so now there is only one uh, entry which is to be calculated that is a vector so what we are going to do is i have written the system of equations homogeneous system of equation you have to plug in one by one the value of lambda and solve so let's start with the first one for lambda is equals to 1 when you put lambda is equals to 1 5 minus 1 is 4 here it's a 4 this 4 is as it is 1 is as it is 2 minus uh, 1 is 1 so I got this system now I'm again going to solve a quick way to uh, find the system you are having a two equation take any one of them for example I am taking 4x plus 4y equals to 0 or this implies that x plus y equals to 0 so what you are going to do is x is equals to minus y or you can say y is equals to minus x you can write anything so what is the step write any equation shift x and y on either side now divide these numbers for example if I shift x uh, minus on this side let let me only work on this portion so if i write like that i can transfer x on this minus on this side or one on this side so x can be the first vector is whatever is coming below the number you can call the component of the vector so there there, there are many way either you have a minus one one or one minus one both way if you are writing like that you are writing minus x is equals to y and you are writing this way answer will be 1 and minus 1 so both are same answers so there is no problem in the solution both are the same vector it means the relation between x and y is x is negative of y so that is my vector similarly uh, when I will plug in for lambda is equals to 6 now we were having a 5 here so 5 minus 6 is minus 1 here we were having 4 here it is 1 and here it is uh, again that element was 2 minus 6 so 2 minus 6 is minus 4 so we we I'm going to pick any one of them for example if I take first equation it is minus x plus 4y is equals to 0 x is equals to 4y you can cross cross the entries you can do like that x upon this 4 and y upon 1 so you can cross multiply so here the second vector comes out to be 4 whatever is below the 4 you write it and whatever is below the y is 1 so I got the second vector the second vector so these are the two solutions so I hope you have understood thank you